best known churches in New York. Yeah, Riverside Church is a historic place where social justice is part of the faith. Antoine Lewis reports for our series, The Black Church Bridge Over Troubled Water. Down by the riverside. Standing majestically in Morningside Heights is the Riverside Church, a towering presence on Manhattan's Upper West Side, but for reasons more impactful than its grand structure. We're thought of as a social justice church. Some people bristle at that. Yet it's an identification this church has well earned. In 1990, when anti-apartheid activist Nelson Mandela came to the U.S. after being released from prison in South Africa, before going to Washington and a meeting with then-President George H.W. Bush, Mandela first came to New York and to Riverside, telling a capacity crowd of the need for world peace. You took up the mission of promoting justice and peace. We salute you. Who? <laughs> And two decades before Mandela, when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his landmark Beyond Vietnam speech, voicing his opposition to the Vietnam War and support for social policies reform, he did so at Riverside on April 4th, 1967, exactly one year before Dr. King was assassinated. It's a church that's in the world and takes that seriously. We're not against the world, we don't stand apart from it, but we're fully and thoroughly engaged in it. So. Uh, Fidel Castro spoke here, uh, so the Dalai Lama has been here. The Riverside Church was built in 1930 with funding donated by 20th century New York philanthropist and financier John D. Rockefeller Jr. The early congregants and church leaders embraced a progressive ideology that eventually led Riverside to transition away from being solely a Baptist church, but a church for all faiths whose mission is simply doing the work of the gospel. I think the real core of it is we care both about the individual person and their growth and development as a child of God, and we also care about the society, especially the most vulnerable among us. To that end, a food pantry is open daily for New Yorkers facing food insecurity. Through a partnership with nearby Columbia University, the church is also an adjunct campus. There's the community theater for use by off-Broadway and off-off-Broadway performers. And well-renowned nationwide is its AAU basketball and academic development program, which counts among its alumni, NBA Hall of Famers Chris Mullen and Nate Tiny Archibald. Riverside's church membership is reflective of the melting pot that is New York City, firmly positioned within a community of color, but offering a spiritual tenet that redefines the black church. Black and white and Asian and Hispanic, Latinx um, and international. We've been that kind of place for a very long time now. This is what the kingdom of God looks like. And it's too rare. It's too rare, gay and straight and transgendered. It's altogether too rare. From Morningside Heights, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.